So this was due on Friday. We did not meet our 50%, so we are not going to go on today. Aww. Oh, no. Yeah, some of you did. Not many of you did. Yeah, I don't know why. Some of you started, but not finished. Yeah, there were many 33, 67. I started it. Jacob is not doing it. All right. Look at your review. As a reminder, we are talking. We were talking about direct and inverse, so no one should be talking. Everyone should be looking at your review. So, for review purposes, direct creation is a set of ordered pairs with a constant ratio y divided by x. Inverse is a set of ordered pairs with a constant product x times y. <laughs> The equation format for direct is y equals kx. For inverse is y equals k over x. Those are the main things we need to know. We have examples on what they look like. To check your k value, y over x for direct, x times y and in inverse. The graphs, the direct is a straight line that goes to the origin. Inverse is the hyperbola. So we are looking curves. Okay, um, this is not a So how we check it is we use our y over x and then put it in for y equals kx. I don't know if you can write all that. Okay. And then the bottom things are basically what I just said. Go on to the next page. On the team, which numbers do we want to see do go over and have questions about? These are just determining are these direct, inverse, or neither. Also 
Do we think this is going to be direct or inverse? Okay, so if we think it's inverse, let's multiply. 6 times 0. 0.5, what do we get? 1 times 3, we know it's 3. 3 times 1 is also 3. 6 times 0. 0.5 is also 3. 15, is this direct or inverse or neither? Direct. How do we know that? It's a Y and it goes to the origin. It is correct. It is a straight line that goes to the origin. Okay. Other questions on the page? Yes. Is 18 direct inverse or neither? Because it doesn't look like this and it's not a line. Would 16 be direct inverse or neither? Neither. Why? Doesn't go to the origin. It is a line. It just doesn't go to the origin. So it doesn't look like it's not like hyperbola. So, listen, it is, but it's, 
just in case you weren't aware, on Wednesday it is two, six, four, six. In one of the six periods, you go to your period, the other one stops. So I see you second period in the morning, where first period would be, and you go to sixth period, then fourth period, then sixth period. Other questions on this page? Alright, 419. Focus. 419. It is just like the table. Do we think this is going to be direct inverse in either? Okay, so let's try. Direct, you're dividing. 8 divided by negative 6 is what? What was this? Negative 4 over 3. Okay. Well, divided by negative 4 is negative 3. This is not direct. So if it's inverse, let's multiply. Guys, stop talking. Negative 6 times 8. If we're not saying which numbers that we want to go over, we should not be copying Kyle. Direct variation. 
and the constant of variation is negative 3, it tells you what k is, which equation represents it this relationship. So y equals Oh. Just, you have to read. Yeah. Right. 4.13. It's the point lies on the graph of an inverse variation, so it tells you it's inverse. They're asking which of these is the equation. So if they give us an x and a y, how can we find our k? Multiply. So what would k be? Now which of these would be our answer? C. Now, notice that they have fives up here, just in case you divide it, because you didn't read. So make sure you are reading other questions on this. For number 11, which one is the direct? D. D. I said D. Go on to the next page. What do you say? Questions on this page. Yes. Any other? Okay. Alright, for 16, in the table below, y varies inversely as x, so this is inverse. So that means we are doing what to find k? So multiplying. So if this, if we multiply, we get 12. What could be multiplied by? We get 12. Oh, I'm on the wrong question. 18. In which table does y not vary directly as x? So vary directly. Direct. So if we start dividing y by x, which one is not? So let's do that for each. Negative 10 divided by negative 2. And hold that box. Negative 10 divided by negative 2. 5. Negative 5 divided by negative 1. 0 divided by 0, but it goes to the origin, so that doesn't matter. And then 5 divided by 5, so that one is, you said it's D, so negative 1 divided by negative 2, positive 1 half, negative 2 divided by negative 1, that is positive 2, sorry, 2 divided by 1, 2, and then 1 divided by 2. So that one is not direct because the, the k values are not the same. Sit down one more time. Yeah. So this goes to the origin, so that counts already. 3 divided by 1 is 6 divided by 2, and 9 divided by 3. So that would be. But we also found that d was already the answer, so everything else has. 21. Oh, there are two 21. Which one were you talking about? Okay. Alright, the number of calories burned by jogging varies directly with the number of minutes spent jogging. If George burns 150 calories by jogging for 20 minutes, how many calories does he burn? Is what I'm supposed to say. By jogging for 30 minutes. What's important here? 150 calories. 150 calories. calories.
figure out what K is. Sometimes they will put your K value up here as an answer, so be careful that you don't use that, that is not the answer. And if we're looking for Y, Y equals our K times our X. What is Y? Now this does not have it, but if you were writing this out, you would put calories. If you read the words wrong and did this inversely, that answer is also up here, so be careful. Other questions on this page before we go to the last? On the last page, any questions on that one? Okay. On a ski lift, the distance between chairs is inversely proportional to the number of chairs. At a ski resort, one lift has 80 chairs spaced 16 meters apart. What is the constant of variation? What's important here? Um, inversely proportional. That's your inverse. What are we looking for? And how do we find the constant? Finding K. Finding K. What would we do to find K in this one? Remember that if you get a word problem and it doesn't say <coughs> varies directly or varies inversely or one of those variation of words, remember that direct, the variables go up together or they go down together. Inverse, one goes up, the other goes down. Any last minute questions before you guys take your quiz? Do you divide third and third or three? Depends on what you're looking for. So for your other page. If you're solving for inverse, you're finding your k value first by multiplying, and then you're using your equation however you have to. That could be just dividing, it could be multiplying, it depends. Then if you're solving for direct, you are dividing first to find k, then putting it into your equation to find whatever missing variable you have. Other last minute questions? Clear off your desk.